Good afternoon, General Counsel. I am joined today by Danny Sia Choi from South Korea. Danny was a global guest at the recent Affirm United conference that happened in Toronto and is here today at the Festival of Faith. Danny just participated in or witnessed one of the activities at the festival, a play called Transcript, which was put on by Art and Faith Ottawa, Faith and Art Ottawa. So Danny, first, welcome. So glad to have you here. Thanks for taking the time to chat. Um, I'm wondering if you could tell me a bit of, first let's start off, a bit of your experience, um, a bit of your story. A bit of my story? Yeah. My personal story? Yeah. Would you like? Who, who are you? Uh, okay, so my name is Danny Sia Choi. I'm a trans rights activist in South Korea. Uh, uh, I'm, I belong to an organization called Chogakbo, and we do mainly cultural activism on uh, medical care, on raising the awareness of transgender people and their identities and what it means to be transgender because uh, not a lot of people in South Korea knows what that uh, entails. Uh, we also do activism in terms of uh, we provide support for the community. Uh, we currently run the only support group in South Korea and we have a magazine um, dealing on the current issues relating to trans rights and trans issues and the struggles, uh, especially when it comes to um, subjects of feminism where Korean, the Korean main, mainstream of feminism seems to be closely linked to, to radical ideologies and uh, exclude a lot of trans women and men in, in that respect. Yeah, so that's a little bit of the work I do. Fantastic. And so you were here for the Affirm conference last mm -hmm. week. And what was your experience there? What was it like to be a global guest? And um, what did you hear and witness while you were there? Uh, the Affirm conference was simply amazing. To see so many faith communities, uh, to see so many congregations in the United Church working towards making the church more affirming, of being more welcoming of LGBT uh, Q plus people and to, to hear the stories of affirmation, um, the anecdotes of people. Uh, I, I also attended a couple of workshops, uh, one on trans rights and one on um, a refugee program for LGBT people. And it was just um, mesmerizing to see all the good work that's being done uh, in, within the faith community, which I hope uh, that Korea too will be able to, to get in there and progress on those issues. So as a, a trans rights act activist, advocate in South Korea and attending a workshop, hearing the stories of trans activism here in Canada, what were some of the similarities, differences, uh, things that you noticed um, in, in your time last week? Uh, I think in South Korea, um, as well as in Canada, for, for a trans person it's very hard to find a place of worship, to find a place that is affirming of your identity. Uh, even within uh, affirming congregations there is hardly any trans visibility, so there isn't any representation, so it's hard for, for people to, to really be themselves and have other people empathize with them. Um, I think that's one of the main issues um, when coming out as trans, to be understood by other people. And in Korea, uh, more specifically, there aren't many um, churches or faith communities that are even accepting of queer people in general that are affirming of their identities. Uh, there are some, but the, the vast majority uh, belong to the groups, to the conservative Christian groups that advocate against homosexuality and transgender identities. So it's such important work that you're doing, yeah. So we've just seen Transcript, which is part of the Festival of Faith lineup, it was here in the, the cafe today. What did you think of Transcript? What are some of your thoughts and reactions? I thought Transcript was great. I really loved how they, they made the play. It, it flowed very well, I thought. Um, but maybe it could have been a lot, uh, a bit more, I could have included a bit more diversity in terms of 
uh, the, identi the trans identities themselves. It was only trans women represented, but maybe stories about trans men and non-binary people as well. Um, people of color could have been uh, included in the play as well. But overall, I really enjoyed it, and it was a, a very meaningful ex experience and stories that needed to be told. Was there a, a character or a plot line that especially resonated with you or spoke to you? I really like the story of Ray. Uh, Ray is the um, is an older uh, uh, transgender person, and I know that it can be very hard for older people to to come out and to transition after because they have so much more to lose than younger people. Their whole life changes, and their peers are often less accepting uh, of the queer movement, perhaps. So in the United Church, our uh, global relationships, we often look at them through a partnership lens. And that's a big part of you being here as one of our, our partners uh, and being a, a global representative at the Affirm Conference. What would you say to the United Church in um, looking forward in kind of what you've witnessed is already happening um, and, and in looking forward to what's to come? What, what words would you offer to the United Church? Uh, first and foremost, I'd like to express my utmost gratitude for inviting me and organizing all of the program and making me see um, all of the good work that you do in terms of LGBTQ rights and, and activism and integration within communities. Uh, I hope that in Korea too we can introduce programs like uh, Affirm United uh, and I hope that many more of the churches in Korea can be affirming and provide a place of worship for LGBTQ. And I hope that we can work in close partnership with the United Church in, um, and share the knowledge that Affirm United has and the United Church has uh, to make that a reality. Thank you so much, Danny. And we'll continue to, to work in that important work together. Thank so you. thank you for taking the time to be here today and uh, enjoy the rest of your time in Canada. Thank you very much. Thank you.